Hello dear traders and welcome to InstaForex TV. You're watching a weekly link up with me, Anna Kasatkina. We would like to discuss the ongoing situation on Forex with technical analyst Peter Yakimovich and forecast further moves of popular currency pairs. The empty economic calendar today is not an obstacle to active trading. Trajectories of currency pairs depend on the news about the trade talks. No wonder sometimes the euro-dollar pair is trading with an unexpected dynamic. Hi Peter, how's your trading going on? Last week you made the right forecast on the trend of the euro-dollar pair. Hello dear traders. Um, euro versus US dollar basically did exactly what we expected and we marked that um, uh, people high that uh, it was a, such a good decision point and basically the price reacted all the way down and um, if you catch that a rejection of that main resistance that I, uh, uh, I basically forecast in previous week then you got a good uh, down move and you catch a good down move. But what, what is happening right now basically is that Euro dollar is again um, at the critical resistance, uh, pardon, critical support. So we have basically the key uh, pivot level around 1.1065 and 1.1077. This is a very important zone because there is a chance that uh, according to a daily time frame, Euro uh, did set up a ABC end of the downward correction and there is a chance for a further upside if this is indeed the ABC downward correction. But um, my advice for you is to carefully watch this level around 1.1065 and if there is no breakout, if you see that there is a intraday upside, you will, my advice you try to buy on the dip. Uh, if you see no, no breakout of this 1.1065, try to buy on the dip uh, and uh, with a target at 1.1175 because you eventually want this resistance, major resistance level that I marked previous week to be on the test again. Um, the, the second scenario is if there is a stronger downward breakout of the 1.1065, then you will watch for some consolidation after that downward breakout, maybe some kind of ABC on the intra, intraday frames, maybe some kind of ABC or the hour time frame or the four hour time frame, and then watch for potential selling on the rallies type of feeling, and then with a target at the 1.1. So this is a decision pivot level, in my opinion, the euro dollar, uh, similar like we got resistance pivot main uh, last week, now we got a support main pivot uh, in the play, um, right now so watch carefully price section around this uh, support and again there is a potential for the ABC end of the downward correction and another upward light on the daily but if there is a still downward pressure um, on the euro versus US dollar try to sell up for the breakout and downside with the target at the 1.1. Speaking about the pound-dollar pair, the likelihood of the Brexit resolution has lost its impact on the sterling. Does it mean that the pound-dollar pair is set to follow the downtrend? On the British pound versus US dollar, there is an interesting situation because this currency pair is uh, currently trading near the two-week low. And um, this currency pair is basically most recently got a, uh, we did, uh, we got a, a Bank of England basically announced that basically we got, we didn't change the rate 0.75% still uh, and, um, in the England. So uh, we didn't uh, change uh, the rates there. Uh, we got some downside move after that decision and um, currently support the two-week law is on the test so again be very careful because this main main pivot on the pound dollar is at 1.2788 watch careful this price action because it's similar like the euro watch to see that how the price will react to this do we have another down break and uh, potential for example test of the uh, 1.2700 level let's say that will be if you see the down, downside break of this uh, two-week low but from other side, if you see some kind of rejection, some kind of daily rotation there, then you, you can also watch for some buying opportunities uh, with a target of 1.2970. Again, downward pressure is, um, is active basically, but again, since we are approaching the pound is, uh, pound is approaching the key support at 1.2788, be very careful with sell selling near this important support level in watch potential price action in order to confirm the further direction. Is there another currency pair which you think is worth of attention? On the USD, uh, on the USD versus Canadian dollar, uh, basically uh, this currency pair is trading in the few-day bracketing market. Most recently, basically, 
six or seven days ago, we got this buying climax and price basically stopped and went into the some stagnation, which is pretty normal after the such a big climax that the USD cat got like days ago. Now it's a basically a critical decision. The resistance at the 1.3185, 1.3200 will be critical for this currency pair. So this is a like go no go level for USD Canadian dollar. If uh, you see the breakout of the 1.3200. If you see the breakout, watch for some consolidation after the breakout upside and then watch the buy on the deep, on the one, one for example, the R or the 4 hour time frame for a higher prices and eventual test of the 1.3240, uh, which is the resistance for the previous price section according to the daily time frame. Now, if you see some kind of fake breakout of this resistance or even that if you see the price cannot go and test this level, then there is a chance the price will rotate back and try to to to, uh, to work towards the 1.3115 level, which is actually the important support level based on daily time frame. So again, go no go level at the 1.3200. Let's say watch the price action around this and um, uh, to confirm further direction. Thank you, Peter, for your trading recommendations, and see you next week. You've watched the link up on InstaForex TV channel with me, Anna Kasatkina, and Petr Yakimovic, technical analyst of InstaForex office in Serbia. We wish you always profitable trading and see you soon.